welcome everybody to the Patreon experience. Um, this is the Coffee Bean experience. It is a special offset of the Coffee Bean experience. <laughs> um, this is going to be a Patreon exclusive. It is not always going to be just me, but this episode I thought it would be fitting. Ah, shoot. Perfect. Fitting for it just to be me. Because today I'm going to be talking about my political beliefs and um, what I think about this Black Pride um, political thing going on with everybody uh, freaking out and all the riots and and, uh, protesters and things like that. And then um, what I think about racism in America and the true racism in America. And I'm talking about all this later on the episode. I'm going to start with my political beliefs and then I'm going to move on to... um, I think it's fitting to start with racism in America and then move on to the whole political thing moving on right now, um, which which ties into coronavirus. So, guys, if you are enjoying the coffee experience, um, this is the first episode is going to be free. So this is the episode you're watching. And then the next episodes, and it's not just going to be me, you know, sometimes we'll have special guests, things like that. And, of course, the coffee experience will still be a thing. Uh, don't worry about that. That will always come out. Um... But, um, shoot, so let me move it, so let me move it, anyways, um, these are just gonna be extra episodes, you guys, if you want an extra episode a week, uh, they will always come out on Spotify and things like that, um, but these ones will only be on Patreon, and you have to be a Patreon supporter in order to get these ones, so, yeah, let's go ahead and let's continue with the episode, so, I, um, I am what you call a constitutionalist i'm not republican i'm not democratic um i'm not libertarian i mean i mean i'm kind of between conservative libertarian and constitutionalist so basically my beliefs are i believe in the constitution which is the foundation of this country i believe that um uh, as little i believe in as little government as possible i believe um i'm against abortion and, um, so basic things like that, and then, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically it, um, so, uh, quick disclaimer before I really get into things, which is coming up soon, um, if you do get offended quick, um, and you have rationally, um, different beliefs, not rationally, what am I saying, if you have extremely different, um, beliefs than me, um, if you're liberal or whatever, and you do not agree with me at all, you can listen to the podcast, but if you get offended, please, please do not get offended, um, I respect everyone's opinion, uh, you should respect mine, I think that respect is very important, and, um, yeah, so don't watch this podcast if you get offended and you don't like it, um, there will be the normal scheduling, there will be new episode, our schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and, th- um, this special episode will come out on Saturdays, so, yeah, so this, if you don't like what I'm doing here, this will not be every special episode, just to be clear, um, some special episodes will be, like, normal coffee experience episodes, um, and, yeah, so let's continue, um, so that's basically my political beliefs, and, um, so I'm pro-life, and I'm not exactly with Trump, um, I think that he has been our the best president we've had in a while. Um, he's done some really good things, and he's done everything, almost everything he said he's gonna do. Um, and yeah, so this this is perfect. It'll tie right into it. Um, so check that off. Okay, all right. So the coronavirus, which people blame on Trump. And I don't know how you can blame Trump on this. Trump has done everything in his power. The president, guys, cannot just do everything. I mean, like, he can't control everything. So he's done everything in his power, you know, that he can do. Hold on, give me a second. Shabby's. Shabby. Jeepers, creepers. Shoot. Okay. Shoot. It's not staying. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's not staying. Just stay. Stay. <laughs> if 
you guys aren't watching the episode on video, just know my mom walked in. Um, anywho, so they blame Pleasant, P- Pleasant, wow, that was amazing, President Trump on everything that's happened, and I just don't know how you can blame Trump for everything that's happened. He has, he's done everything in his power, um, that he can do, and he's actually put his, like, couple m- more billion dollars in debt, um, for relief funds, and things like that for businesses, which our governments have not even taken into consideration. So, I don't know how you can blame Trump, but, you know, you can blame whatever, you know. Yeah, everyone has their own opinions. So, um, yeah, so that'll lead right into um, the racism happening in America right now. Um, where do I even start? So, the black pride movement because that's specifically what's happening right now um you know as you know george floyd was shot and if you don't know george floyd was shot and um the misconception is he was brutally murdered now sure he was murdered i mean kind of um by a police officer now what people don't realize in everything that's happened right now is that this black on black, you know, this black, these black murders that happen from police, what people don't realize is the crime rate is significantly higher in black community. It is. It's it, It's just, it is what it is. Um, and a lot of that derives from how these children are raised. Um, st- uh, statistically speaking, um, black, black families are less likely to have a black dad. And that is what it is. I cannot control it. You cannot control it. Unless you're in the black community. That like you have to make a difference at the core. So if you're a, a black male that is under the age of 18. And you do not have a wife. And you do not have kids yet. you know, Make a difference. Strive to be a father. That's how it will start to change. And that's how the crime rate will start to lower. Because... Um, and that's why there's crime rate is lower in white in white communities in color community in um, not color communities. It's because there's there's parents there to prevent at young ages, you know, rob things like robberies and 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 stealing and cursing and things like that, um, which I think is really really important. Um, and we have to remember that parents are play a huge role in a child's development and a child's life. Without parents, a child is not going to develop. And um, so the crime rate is significantly higher. So that has to do with a lot of a lot. Um, and that brings up s- suspicions. Like as a police officer, you get you're, you deal with the crappiest of people. You deal with drug dealers. People constantly treat you like crap. Um, so when you get a... Um, there's watching a movie like The Hate You Give. Um... When you get somebody that walks doesn't comply with your your request to listen and to put your hands up, get on the floor, not go in your car. Because when you go in your car, when you reach in your car, it looks like you're grabbing a gun. And as a police officer, you don't have that time to react before they shoot you. Like, if they shoot you, they're going to shoot you. So you have to shoot them before they shoot you. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's life versus death. Um, and that comes into the human nature. And that's the flea. You know, the fight or flee concept. And um, so it, it's very suspicious. So for George Floyd, um, it goes both ways, actually, quite frankly. Because George Floyd has a criminal record um, at a young... Has, has had a criminal record for a very long time and at a young age, too. So he looks suspicious. Now, I don't know the situation of his death. Um, and I also know... Again, like, that's why I say it goes both ways. Because the police officer that that assassinated, murdered, created, committed a homicide, which is humbug in my opinion, but um, the man that did that um, has a record of doing this, I guess. And um, the um, the method of which he had his knee on George Fuller's neck was actually taught in the police academy, which is absurd because if it's taught, then why is... Um, the police officer the only one getting persecuted. The police force should be persecuted for teaching that. Even if, even okay, listen. Even if you know they taught it and he had the he had the method wrong, they still passed him out of the academy, 
which means that they've gone over through all, I mean, I hope that final test has gone over everything they've taught them. And they that means that they think that George Floyd is at least average and he's good. So they passed him. So really the fall should be on them, not on the police officer. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, for all, all we know, the police officer could have just literally thought George Floyd, which man has a criminal record, was probably just messing with him, just lying to him, saying that he was choking, you know, to get up and try to fight him. So, um, so people don't realize that. Like, I saw a post the other day, like, out of 100,000, uh, black, 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 black people, like, excuse, is it, um, 94% of them are killed, and then out of white, 100,000 white people, it's like 84%, and, um, what's sad is, it's actually more likely for a black person to be shot by another black person than a white police to shoot actually just any police to shoot a black person which is their whole basis of their protesting and rioting which is humbug which is crazy i mean that's crazy like you think about that statistic and you're like so then why are they rioting and looting it's probably just black people like 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 this 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 stuff happens three times maybe three times a year maybe um, but what people don't take in consideration is statistically also, I love statistics because people don't follow statistics anymore and they go off straight off their opinion, which is crazy because I mean, you do, you go to school and some people that go straight off their opinion support school. Um, how can you support school when you don't support statistics? School's based off statistics and history. Anywho, um, Statistically, white people, white folks, uh, struggle more with police than black people do. And that's crazy, bro. That's crazy because, according, not, I mean, not according to these people, um, shoot, I mean, literally two weeks before George Floyd was shot, I mean, not, not even shot, was killed, um, there was a white woman who was shot by a black police officer. Police officer, not police, not police officer. A police officer. So, I mean, and I didn't see any about, I didn't hear anything about that in the news. There's nothing about that. Um, and th- she didn't get credit. And then, um, during the rioting and looting, there was a black police officer that was shot and killed by a rioter. And no one knows the race of this rioter. Um, presumably, probably black male. Um... If I had to guess, because the crime is so high in their community. Um, and, like, I posted, um, well, I didn't post, but I was just thinking in my head, like, wow, you guys killed the race you're trying to defend. Like, you killed the race you're trying to defend. What's the point of it? I mean, the rioting, looting, and protesting isn't even about race anymore. It's not about power. It's literally just about getting your anger out and, like, trying to show that you guys are there and you're not going to stay quiet and and that's fine you guys always i mean the black community always has done this and um moving on to racism in america just go ahead check this off pop pop moving on to racism in america um i think the bigger picture here and people don't acknowledge this is that it's crazy because these people, these black people, these, and it's funny because this majority of white people, like you look at these riots and these protests especially, and it's majority of white people fighting for these black people. Like it's not even your own race fighting. Like, and race isn't like, like, like your gender or your, um, your sex. It's, it's, it's race. Like you are what color of skin you are. You can't change that. Like you physically, like I'm white. I'm Caucasian. I cannot change that. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. There's no, um, there is zero surgeries I can commit to change, like, my race. So, I don't get why white people are fighting for black people's rights. When, when, like, black people are fine. Like, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, so the real problem, and, and these black people walking around, raising their fists up, they're they're basically saying that they're better. By uh, by saying black power, they're saying that they're better than other races, which is racism. 
I mean, th- so they're saying we're racist when they're being the racist. Um, which is crazy, because they're walking around raising their fists saying black people are better. So that's racism in America. Um, there's one more key point I wanted to talk about, and uh, privilege. Privilege. This one is big for me. Um, I've always been told I have white privilege. <coughs> I've always been told that there is privilege towards white people in America. That that I am treated or given rights over over other races, over colored people. And I'm going to get right into it. I'm not going to cut the cheese. I'm not going to short sugarcoat anything. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And if you don't like everything I've said so far, you're welcome to leave. Um, please do not leave the Kaufman experience, but you're welcome to leave anything politically we ever talk about in the future. And I respect that. I respect you. I support your viewership. Um, so the other day I was talking to my sister in her room and we had an incident with my other sister's friend. Um, and she called me a white privileged snotty boy. Which is fine. I've been called that many times. It is what it is. Um, so, but she talked to me and she opened me up about the word privilege. Privilege is almost like racism. Where in today's society it has been twisted to be derogative. Um, racism is always derogative. Sorry, my bad. I should clarify. But racism as twisted to be like racial, not slurs, but like, yeah, slurs, like racial slurs. Like if I were to ask uh, a man, like, excuse me, sir, are you Japanese or are you Chinese? And he were to say something like, oh, you're racist. Well, that's not racist. I'm sorry, it's not. The definition of racism is when you think your race is better than another. Um, that's not the exact definition, but that's what the definition comes up to. Um, I can um, go ahead and look up the word racism. Like, literally right now, pause this podcast, look up the word racism, come back to me. And you'll be like, oh, wow, he's right. That's that's because I didn't sugarcoat anything, and I'm being completely honest. So, the word racism has been twisted into what people think and feel the word racism should mean, not what it actually means. So, and privilege is very similar, because privilege is not derogative. It can be, but it is not the definition of privilege is not. Privilege is an advantage over somebody. So, if we were to look at it, look at the word privilege like in that term, in that terminology, then you would start to be like, oh wow, there is kind of privilege in this country. Um, I cannot think of any privileges I have, any advantages I have over anybody. Um, I guess because because my crime rate is higher, I mean, I'm I'm more likely to be more successful in business, and and that's because <clears throat> black people choose the route of athleticism and music and things like that, and that's statistically, um, and so I guess I guess because the route they choose, I'm likely to be more successful. I guess, I mean, other than that, it, that's really all I can think of. But I can think of stuff for colored people. I mean, dang, for heck. I mean, heck, there's literally a law. It's called affirmative action that states that companies have to hire minorities over white people. And, I mean, for me, this is crazy because... Oh, sorry, excuse me. I mean, this is crazy for me because... I'm constantly being told I have privilege. I can get things. I get everything handed to me easy. Um, people tell me I I have privilege. Well, I mean, I sure I might have privilege, but you heck dang as well have way more privilege than me in this country. I mean, not to mention the the law that states that companies have to hire minorities. But like, what about what about all the sympathy minorities get constantly, constantly? They're like the number one thing on news all the time. All the time. They're the, like the number one top, to, talked about topic ever. Like if I were to talk about, like like if I were to literally talk about Black Pride and how I support it, I would get so many views. But I don't have the, I don't have the stupidity to dumb down to that level. Like I, I, I just couldn't do it. I wouldn't have the balls to do it. Because um, I don't believe in it. I don't, it's, it's, it's false. Like, I mean, if we're being realistic here, if we're just being realistic here for like, Five minutes, you would start to realize that 
black people are not the most persecuted in this country. It's actually white males. I mean, frick, the, the, like, the, one of the most commonly talked about, other than black people and black shootings and black people's problems on, on news networks, is, is, um, how white males are the most dangerous thing in this country, Don Lemon. And I quote, Don Lemon literally said, the most dangerous thing in this country is not terrorists, it is white privileged males. Look at me. Look at me. Look at yourself. Take take a quick self-analysis. Look at me. Do I look that scary? Do I look scary to you? What what crime have I committed, Don Lemon, that, that is so vicious for you to, to, to outright me? I'm offended. Because that's offensive. That's actually really offensive. White males should be offended. Because some idiot who 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 has the audacity to claim that I am the most dangerous thing. And statistically, it's not true. Actually, it's his own race. And he's afraid to admit that. But I'm, I'm actually... This is a, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that he would have the, auda- the audacity to say that. I mean, I mean, shoot. Like, the most commonly talked about... <coughs> Criminal injustice is almost always the the villain in every single news network I see is almost always a white male. Has anyone else ever, ever noticed that? Have you guys noticed that? Serious comment. Genuinely, I want you guys to email me if you've ever noticed that because I always notice that, and and it's not true statistically. It's not true because the crime rate in, in black communities is high, very high. Um, about. Ten percent higher than the white community, actually fifteen percent. I mean, <clears throat> black males make like twelve to fifteen percent of the population, and they commit over fifty three percent of the homicides and murders in this country. That's crazy. Like, like you can't stage that, and and they fill up like seventy percent of our prisons. Seventy percent. Like, guys, there's no way our inju- our justice system is that corrupt. Like, I, I I'm sure it's corrupt. There's no way 70%, they would put 70% of black males in there. Like, it's always, it's almost like the news is trying to make up for, for black people's mistakes. By putting every single, because trust me, there's a lot of cases that the news network goes through each week. They're like, let's put this one on Monday, this one on Tuesday, this one on Wednesday, so on and so forth. But let's, let's make sure, like, and they get, they get millions, I'm sure thousands, maybe not millions, thousands of cases they get to choose from that they want to put on. And, and I bet you, I would bet a good bit that they were like, oh, well, this guy, this was shot, this man was black and shot a white female or shot a white male. Let's not put that on at all. Oh, but there's a white male shooting a black male. Perfect. Let's put that on Monday. Oh, look, there's another one. Tuesday. Oh, another one. Wednesday, like, I just, mm. there's just no way, anyways, guys, we're getting to about that time, if you guys have any questions, anything you want to say, any comments, concerns, things like that, let me know, you can email me at thecoffeemakeexperience.com, or, sorry, at gmail.com, um, if you have any disagreements, you can also email me, or comment. Um, remember, this is going to be the special Patreon um, episode. The first one is going to be free, so you guys get a look at what you're getting into. And again, if you guys disagree with me, or you you disagree with me, but you still understand, um, not every episode is going to be political. This is actually the first episode we've done in like 30 episodes. That's political. I felt like we were getting to that point, um, getting personal. So, yeah. But um, please do not leave the Coffee Bean Experience we always have fun, refreshing content every week. Um, and yeah, again, if you want to support us, go to Patreon. This is going to be on Patreon. And, um, you know, I will. I guess I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you guys for listening. Stay tuned, and I'll see you all later. <laughs>